Well, hello. Thanks for coming back to check out another video. So, we are here today to do our next installment, our next update to the Project Level Up Project Pan. I am super excited. So before we get too further into this, I do want to give credit where credit is due. This was, of course, created by Sophie Alexandra. I always have her channel linked in my description box so that you guys can go and easily find her, as well as her introduction video to this because she goes over how to like participate and play along and do this project pan. Also in my description box, what you will find is a list of lovely other people that are participating in this as well. I try to keep that as up to date. That way, if you guys are just really enjoying this, you can easily find other content creators who are doing it as well. So if you are doing this and you are not in my description box, please let me know. I'm trying to keep that as up to date as possible and I just want to, you know, just make it easy on everyone, I guess, just to, to find new people because there's not like a community playlist or anything like that. So also in the description box, what you will find is like a breakdown of the rules just in case like you like reading those things. And then also what I leave down in there is my palette breakdown usage. Like how many times did I end up using each shadow throughout the month? It just makes it a little bit easier in order to make these videos like a little bit more streamlined and things like that. I think that on the screen, what I will at least do for you guys is leave the amount of uses on these shadows that I have already hit pan in. It's a good update, just foreshadowing there. But yeah, I think we'll start doing that. So the only other thing that I want to say is that my last update to this project pan got filmed on March 22nd and it was supposed to go up pretty relatively early on in April and I did not like I was not able to accomplish that. I think that it went up sometime in like the second or third week of April. So it's only been about maybe two weeks since you guys have seen the last update to this update. So it feels very rushed, like very like, you know, what are you doing, Haley? Like, um, how have you made so much progress? That's why though, it's technically been longer progress because I'm filming this on May like 1st or 2nd, I believe. So I've had like a good long time with these palettes, been able to show them some love, but it just might look a little funny on your end. I always leave my filming dates in my description box though, just in case you're ever curious. Okay, so with all of that out of the way, we can first talk about our level three palette and then we will talk about our level four palette and then maybe, maybe we'll talk about a level five palette, I'm just saying. Okay, so it is a very rainy, cloudy day here and I have my ring light jacked up. So I think that it's gonna glare out this uh, palette. So what I'm gonna do is insert like a close up clip for you guys and we will just kind of talk about this palette. So as you are looking at it, hopefully you will notice that there are three new pans in the Jackiana palette. So the first shadow that I ended up hitting pan on, if I'm not mistaken, was the matte berry shade Pinker. I think that after last month's update, I only had to use Pinker like three more times in order to hit pan. So it was a shadow that already had like a really good dip in it already. So I had a lot of progress on that. It wasn't really challenging to hit pan on that shade. The next one that I hit pan on was Edges, which is kind of the like, matte terracotta brown we will say it's kind of like a red brown shade you know it's a really pretty shadow great for making some more like neutral or bronzy looks but that was the second one i hit pan on if i'm not mistaken and again that was a matte shadow that had a pretty good dip on it going into this project so i think that's why it was so easy for me to hit pan this palette just had so much love on it the last shade that i ended up hitting pan on and i hit pan on it like a yesterday or the day before yesterday i can't quite remember but it's the shade soleil that one i've used predominantly as an inner corner highlight like just every time i do my makeup i didn't really like soleil as an all over lid shade i think i did try it one time that way it just wasn't like as impactful as i per personally wanted but it did make a really pretty inner corner highlight i have managed to use all the other shades in this palette the requisite three times if not more again the breakdown is in the description box but i think it's really exciting because i can definitely tell a difference on some of the shadows that already had pan in them like shookington trust issue sponsored and credit i can see that those pans have already expanded just in the short amount of time that i have been using this palette so again really excited i'm really excited that my level three palette has been completed i will say i think that within this project the level one and level two spots are going to 
consistently be the easiest uh, levels to complete no matter the size of the palette because it's only using every shade you know the one time and hitting pan on one shade or using it two times and hitting pan on two shades I just think that's easier and more attainable I think levels three four and five will take longer like a month to three months if if, if I'm being honest um, I think my level three palette this go around was so easy and so obtainable for me to meet all of the goals on it because it was a palette that already had so much use on it in its life. Like when I brought this into this project, I already had seven pans on it and now I have 10. There was already a good amount of wear on these. So I just, I wanna like say that and put that out there. That way the next level three, when it takes longer than a month, I'm not like, you know, beating myself up. Like, well, you did it so easy the last time. That's why the palette had so much use on it. Okay, so we are rolling out our level three palette. So now we get to talk about our level four palette. I believe this got rolled in last month. This is the BH Cosmetics Emerald for May palette. Now let me say, I kind of just put my foot in my mouth. I do think that my level four palette will be easy this go around simply because this Emerald for May palette only has nine grams of total product in it. And it's just, I, there's not a lot of like depth to these pans. You know what I mean? So hopefully in saying that, your eye is straight away drawn to the fact that we do already have pan in one of the shadows. It's the Stubborn shade. Um, it's a really pretty like purpley brown kind of color. I just find it super easy to incorporate this shadow into a bunch of looks and really achieve the depth that I want using that shadow. So it's been a fan favorite. I have obviously met the requisite four times that I need to use this and I have hit pan on it. But I don't know, I probably will still continue to use that shade in some capacity throughout the month just because it is a fan favorite. I believe the only other shade in here that I have used the four times as we sit here today is the Artsy AF, which is the darker green shimmer shade. Hopefully you can tell that there is like a little bit of a dip on that shadow forming. I think that is going to be one of the shades that I try to hit pan on. I think the other two shades, because we've got to hit pan on four shades in total, so I think the other two shades that I'm going to aim to hit pan on is the total package shade, which is the lighter shimmer shade. I have not yet tried to use that all over my lid, but I have used it as an inner corner highlight, and I think it'll be a good, a good way to just incorporate that shadow so easily, much like I did with the Soleil shade from the Jackie Ina palette. And then the other shade that I want to hit pan on is the emerald shade, which is like the bigger pan, the lighter green. Uh, shade. It is just a really pretty, as the name would suggest, emerald shimmer shade. So that's kind of my game plan. Like I said, there's only nine grams of product in this palette, and I just think that it'll be kind of easy. I think that if I'm able to wear makeup enough in the next month, that I will be able to at least maybe hit one or two more pans within this palette. I do want to say, you guys brought up some great questions last month about like, hey, I know you said you're ignoring the pressed glitter, like you're not going to put that anywhere near your eyes, but what about using it as like fingernail polish? It's a really great suggestion. I did not try it with this particular pressed glitter. However, I did do it with the glitter from the Sapphire palette in the same birthstone collection line. And it just didn't work. Like it, it crumbled or crumbled. It flaked and chipped so easily. And for me, it takes a long time to like, sit down and paint my nails like obviously i like just wearing my little press on nails because this takes all of 10 minutes whereas like actually painting my nails takes me a while longer and so to put in all of that time effort and energy into painting my nails i want them to last like a bit longer than like a day or two you know so that's another reason why i think um those tips were really helpful and great and you know fair like i do appreciate them but I'm just gonna continue to still ignore the pressed glitters within eyeshadow palettes that I own if they get rolled into this project. So just wanted to put that one out there. Okay, so level five. We get to pick our level five palette. Now, I do not have my phone out. Let me explain. I So I have been randomizing my levels one, two, three, and four using the Tiny Decisions app, and that is something I'm going to continue to do. However, since the last update, I've been thinking like, ooh, Haley, Level five, that is a feat, a task, a chore, a challenge. You have to use every shadow within that palette five times and hit pan on five cha shades. I am up for this challenge. However, I think that this should be a little bit rewarding. I think that I should get to pick the palette, but I need your help. I have picked out three palettes that I am more than happy to work on as my level five palettes, but I would like to hear your input. Like, which ones would you want to see? Which ones do you think we should work on? 
you know, I just think that it'll be fun. I think this is how we will handle every level five is that I will come, uh, come to you with three palettes from my collection that I could really see myself enjoying, not having to feel like it's a chore to use them, you know, the appropriate amount of times within this project. And then you guys can let me know what your thoughts are. So I believe you're going to see this video between May 3rd and May 5th. So I think that what we will do is I will say by May 10th, when my partners in cream update goes up, that will be when the voting closes because you know, obviously I do want to get like started in on this palette, but that gives everyone a few good days to like watch the video and like, you know, sound off on their opinion down below. So enough rambling. I'm going to hold these palettes up in no particular order and I will include swatch clips of them for you just in case you're unfamiliar with them. So palette number one that is an option for level five is a really new palette within my collection. But I don't mind working on new palettes. Like I just, I feel like that's a good thing when your new palettes look love just like your old palettes. So this is the Heather Austin Adept Cosmetics palette that she did in collaboration with them quite recently. This palette is mostly shimmer, like duochrome, multi-chrome, shifty shadows. There's only four mattes in here, which I don't mind. I think the four mattes that she picked out are really nice staple mattes and can go with every single shimmer shade within this palette. I think you can tell upon the close-up, I do already have some good dips in this palette, especially the Passport shade, the 0603 shade, and the Austin shade. The shimmer formula in this Adept palette is quite lovely, but it is more on the like softer kind of putty side, we will say. So I think it will be quite easy to actually accomplish hitting pan in five shadows, especially if I go for hitting pan in five shimmer shadows. But yeah, it's just a palette that I've greatly fallen in love with. This definitely gives me like spring, summer kind of vibes. And while I've said before, I am very much a person like you wear whatever makeup you want and whatever season you want, I do have a certain attachment of like, no, this palette works better in this season for me, or these are just the colors that I'm more drawn to. So my brain is thinking of like spring, summer palettes that I could be happy with rocking now and all the way into August if it were to come to it. Because again, this is our level five. So the next palette option that we have is the Kaleidos Club Nebula palette that Angelica Nikvis did as a collaboration palette with them. Again, you're going to see close-ups of this. So if I open this palette up, this one out of the three that I'm going to show you is the most well-loved palette as we sit here today. I already have four pans of eyeshadow within this palette. I have Pan on Firefly, Nauru, and Cylon, and Queen of Blades. So pan on three mattes and a shimmer shadow. I have a lot of good dips in here as well. Hopefully you can tell we have good dips on seven of nine, void, uh, you're my only hope, Nova, and rock hopper. So I don't think this palette would be super challenging to hit five new pans in that would bring the total pans of this palette up to nine in total because I do have some good dips already in this palette. It's kind of like the ABH Jackie Ina palette, you know? This is one of my like most favorite palettes within my collection. So again, not a chore to use it. My only hesitation is that, okay, this palette already has four pans in it as we sit here today. And I think only one of those pans came through like putting this palette into a project, the Cylon shade, the dark purple. I think that was in my pan, those eyeshadows. The, all, the other three pans within this palette were very organic. So obviously I don't have like trouble reaching for this palette and it's part of my brain is like, well, let another palette shine. You know what I mean? Like eventually this palette will get rolled into this project because that is my goal is to use every single palette within this project. But do I want to commit myself and show so much love to Club Nebula as a level five palette when something else could be getting level five love. Does that, hopefully that makes sense. All right, the last palette that we will talk about is also an Angelica Nikvis collaboration with Udenza. This is the Hella palette. So this one, again, is new into my collection. The Club Nebula is the oldest palette, but the age of things at least with like powder products and eyeshadow palettes, doesn't matter to me. I would rather work on something that I want to. So, you know, don't take into consideration like, well, work on Club Nebula because it's your oldest. You know what I mean? But either way, um, the Hella palette, again, pretty new into my collection, 
but the color story of this is just so fun it has a lot of greens which you know are right up Haley's alley it's got a lot of like pinks and some purples I feel like there's a good amount of variety within this palette even though I'm a little bit burnt out on pinks and purples from working on the ABH Jackie Ina palette I feel like the pinks and the purples are a little bit different within this palette and there's more variety to pair them with and get some different color combinations so yeah I think that this one would also be a good choice to roll in so yeah, those are my three palette options for level five. Again, I would love to know your thoughts down below. I feel like if you ask me today, which palette do I really want to work on? The Heather Austin palette. But if you ask me tomorrow, it's going to be the Uden's Eye. And if you ask me the day after that, it's going to be the Club Nebula. So that's why I just thought it would also be like a really good idea to just sit down and like get your guys' opinion on it. But yes, that is it. That is all I have for you for our project level up update. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate you so much for sticking around, sounding off your opinion in the comments, and just being here. So I hope you're having a good day, a good night, or a good whatever, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!